what we going live on now. Only both not in there is Tamaya. That's Tamaya not in there. He can sit right here. <clears throat> Me and him the same size. Tamaya, don't we got it? Can you feel out? Can y'all get him over there? Yeah, yeah. Right. Just let, let it let it let it let it down. Uh yo. Yup, yeah, yeah, yup, there we go. Come on. Yup. All right, we good now. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, and our Lord and Savior, who the world eagerly knows is Jesus Christ. Ba'ashem, Rakakodash is the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, and it's the inspiration given unto us to edify those that have ears to hear. Lord, will you be edified? Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect brothers faithfully and diligently preaching this word with fear and trembling. And shalom to the believers who subscribe to this truth through the spirit and power of your heart by Shimmy Hawa Shai. All right, so you see the, the title, you know, this truth has surrounded the world. And that's how we know that the end is here. All right, that's how we know we're coming into exciting times where the Lord is going to uh, visit the world that he made, all right, deliver his elect and destroy all of the wicked, you know, that remain. So without further ado, we're going to get into prophecy. And uh, Lord will, like I said, you be edified. You had something? Yeah, second ages. Okay. Okay, and then go Matthew. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the book, um, second ages, six and 20. And when the word that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. Yep, it say then when the world that shall vanish away begin to vanish. Read it again from the top, Bob Shah. Second message is six and twenty. Mm -hmm. And when the word that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, mm -hmm. then will I show these tokens. Okay. The books, the books should be open before the parliament. And they shall see all together. Yep, the books shall be open before the firmament. Meaning what? In the heavens, okay, this word is going to go out. So the, the means of getting this word out to you comes through what? The internet, all right? Which it's able to be internationally received from nation to nation all around the globe. This word is able to be received. And this is a token of the end all right because that's what the lord prophesied what have what would have to happen before he would come back to redeem us all right that's what he told the disciples go to matthew 24 read verse 3 and then jump down to the point up this is matthew 24 and verse 3 and and as he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came unto him privately saying Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Yep. Now jump down to the point. Verse uh, 14, Matthew 24 and 14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. 
And that's what's going on right now. This gospel is being preached, right? In all the earth, amongst all the nations, okay? So we are in the end. We're right at the end. We're in the last days of the last days because this word, this, this word is internationally known, okay? You got prophets uh, and men of the Lord popping up in countries all over the globe, man. Australia, uh, Germany, uh, y'all brothers name some places. Brazil. Brazil, you know. Mexico, the Bahamas. The Bahamas, Germany, Bahamas Mexico, 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 Puerto Rico. London, UK. Come on, Australia, man. man. The four corners of the earth. I want to say, is it a camp in Russia now? Ooh, man, I, is I it in GMS Russia? I heard, brother. I heard oh, somebody was speaking. Was it a brother in Japan too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Brother in Japan. Yeah. It's a brother in Japan. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, man, this this word, like we saying, hey, it's around in the earth, man. Yep. Okay. Yeah. By mean, if I can add, by means of the uh, the unicorn, the internet. The internet. Mm -hmm. You see, my brother's got the internet too. Uh, Psalms nineteen. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get the word surrounded in the etymology of. Karab, and brothers go ahead with what, what scriptures they got until he get it. Yes, sir. Uh, it's on Psalms 85 and 11. Uh -huh. I got Truth should spring out yeah. of the earth and righteousness should look down from heaven. Yeah. Truth. Read it again. Psalms, yeah, Psalms 85 and 11. Truth should spring out of the earth and righteousness to look down from heaven. You got it. Right. You know, the truth is being swung out of the earth. It means what? The, uh, the unicorn, man. Mm -hmm. Through the spirit power of Yahweh man. You see, because what it said, evil should be put out. Yep. Yeah, I got that. Are you yeah. headed? Yeah. yeah. This is 2nd Ezra 6. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at 20, 27. It says, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. Mm -hmm. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. See, and that's what's happening. See, deceit is being quenched. Corruption is being overcome by truth, right? And brother, give me first uh, Ezra 4 and 37, I believe, right? Because the truth is more powerful than any other uh, uh, element out there, man. You know, it, there's nothing more powerful than truth, because truth is is, is like light that shines as bright as the sun. Mm -hmm. You know, it don't matter where you hide, right? Truth is gonna is gonna find you. You know. It says, "And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared." And the truth which has been so long without fruit shall be declared, and that's what you see going on. Okay, because the spirit of the Lord is the is the spirit of truth. All right, that's what the Lord deals with. He don't deal with nothing but truth, man. And He is going to consume this entire planet with His word. And His word is what we call what the truth, man. Go ahead, bro. This is First Ezra chapter four, verse thirty-seven. Wine is wicked, and the king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked, and such are all their wicked works. There is no truth in them, and in their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong, and it liveth and conquereth forevermore. See, read that again. That's I mean, that's 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 plain. They don't even need a breakdown. Just read it again. <laughs> this first edge is 4 and 38. As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. It liveth and conquereth forevermore, man. You know, because at the end of the day, that's what the Lord is about. You know, he's about truth. And it also, it's another one that say, uh, truth bears the victory. It's in that same chapter. You don't got to get it. But, you know, Yahweh Shai. Uh, he said what? Get, matter of fact, let's get that. I don't even want to say it. He said, uh, it's in John. I'm the way. You know? John 14 and 6. Yep. 
Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Yep. And that's that's what Yahweh Shah is coming to do. He's coming <clears throat> to reap the fruit that's meat for repentance, to be brought back to his father. All right. He's coming to harvest souls. All right. He's the true reaper, really. You know, and everything that's being sown and done in the earth is going to have to come before the judgment seat of the heavenly father, but not before they meet the son. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to meet the son at the door, man. You got these guys that, you know, have a, a, a blatant disrespect for your house shot. Well, you, you talking about you in the truth. You can't be in the truth if you ain't uh, repping your house shot, man. Right. If you ain't reverencing and honoring Yahweh Shah to the fullest, you look, man. What are you talking about, brother? Hold on, deck Romans ten. Go ahead, bro. I got uh, Psalms nineteen, starting at one. Okay. Did you get that word surrounded? God. Okay. Go ahead. This is Psalms nineteen and one. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament showed His handiwork. Yeah, the firmament showed his hand oh, about it. I, I mean, to what? Uh, you two, you know. You know, uh, the elders and apostles, Stone's great minister, came, came on the scene, man. Go ahead. Verse 2. Day unto day utter his speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Right, show knowledge. Because you can access YouTube any um, time of the um, day or night, you know. When, it, when the sun go down over here in Memphis, it's, it's morning in um, UK or somewhere, man. Yep. You know, go ahead. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Right, translate YouTube, man, or the, the internet, man. Often this this what it is. The uh, the ferment shows on uh, his his hand it works. It's, it, it's the internet, man. We don't have to catch a, uh, a plane to travel to um you know Germany, Africa, Germany, Africa, Africa, Africa yeah. you know. No, they access it through internet, you know, through YouTube or, or whatever platform, you know, first of all, daily motion, yeah. you see, yeah. go ahead. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world, and them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. Right, it's going back to what, Matthew the 24th, you know, mm -hmm. then should the end <laughs> should come. And we're living in the, uh, at the end, the last days, how we know, because prophecy is speaking, man. You see? So, uh, there's some more on that. Cut, uh, cut. Get the uh, definition. Cut. cut. And, and, and keep going. There's some more on there. Okay. Uh, verse 5. Which is as the bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejo yeah, rejoices as a strong man to run a race. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And that bridegroom is your house shop, man. Yep. Right? So, that's ultimately why this word is being, uh, so is surrounding the world. It's because the whole world has to be prepared, all right, at least be warned, <laughs> okay, because not everybody's going to be prepared, mm -hmm. but th the whole world has to be warned of the coming of our Lord, man, right. you know? Uh, and scripture says, uh, uh, they have no cloak for their sin. So they're gonna, they ain't going to have no cloak yeah. for their sin. Yeah, because you, you heard the word, man, the word went out mm -hmm. all over the world, you know, through the four corners of the earth. So, hey, you, you can't have that excuse. You know how Jake loved to use the excuse. I, I didn't know. I didn't, right. Yeah, I didn't know this was this was true. I didn't know. Nah, no, nah, the word is out here, man. So regardless, whether you hear or whether you forbear, hey, you, you heard, you know. I got one, too. Uh, uh, I, need the, I need the word first, Bible for shot, and then the Romans 10 and and 18, and then you got it, y'all can know. This is that word surrounded in the etymology, early 15th century, to flood, to overflow. To flood. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to overflow. <laughs> to overflow. Man, this is heavy. To abound, to surpass, and dominate. <laughs> the, the truth is dominating. <laughs> he's, so, he's so losing sleep because of he's striking brother's pages. Mm -hmm. You know, he losing sleep, man. And now, now it's um, a hate speech on, on, on telling the truth. Mm -hmm. yep. But the scripture said, well, have I therefore become your enemy because yeah, I tell you the, the truth. truth. So, 
So uh, they hate this truth, man. Huh? They hate the words of Yahweh Shem even though that's way in on the Bible. Uh -huh. You know what it is? If I may add, they hate him, they refuse to be at the gate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To shut in on all sides. Mm -hmm. To shut in on all sides. Yep. Right? So there's nowhere what his word is not heard, right? Uh, let's get the Romans and and see that and that Romans when it when it was written, right? It actually wasn't so, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's prophecy for this word to go out throughout the whole uh, uh, throughout the whole earth, right? And I think it's Romans ten and eighteen, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, Romans 10 come, 18. come. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. The sound went into all the earth. Right, which in that time, the sound hadn't went into all the earth. So that's really prophecy right there. You know? Go ahead. And the, and the word unto the ends of the world. And their words unto the ends of the world. You know? So that's, that's what you got, man. You got prophecy being fulfilled right before your eyes. Like, the words weren't being preached in America back then, you know? Because this is the uttermost part of the earth. You see? This the this the this from where civilization began in Jerusalem, which you uh uh can reference that back to Galatians 4 and 26, right? Jerusalem is the is the mother of us all. That's where this thing began, man. Okay. So what do you have? You have Yahweh Shai spirit overpowering the earth, man. You got it. I was gonna say K D V seventeen. Con, con. You can jump back up and then you brothers make your point. You got it out. Oh, uh, this is you got it, y'all. This the this oh, okay, is, cool. You got it, brother. This is uh Romans chapter ten, verse seventeen. So then faith cometh by hearing, mm -hmm. and hearing by the words of the most high. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna read it in the NLT. So faith comes from hearing. That is hearing the good news about you, how it shot. Everybody don't have faith, man. That's why they they want to stop this word, man. Yeah. They don't want to hear the prophets of Yahweh Shah. Hey, hey, I, everybody don't want to hear the good news, man. Exactly. It, it ain't for it ain't good news for everybody, man. Exactly. <laughs> Some people, man, this this is bad news, man. Hearing that you know you you know the uh, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Are gonna come into an everlasting rulership. Everlasting <laughs> immortality. When we the Israelites never die in the right. kingdom of heaven, man. God. We not we're not gonna die in the kingdom of heaven, man. I ain't no it's not gonna be no such thing as death in the kingdom of heaven if you if you're an Israelite, man. I just had to say that. Mm -hmm. You see? But people don't have faith. So that's they can't hear the good news. Right. But the scripture said they should have no cloak for their sins. Why? Because this word went out. Right. Hey. We 18 and 2. I'll go ahead. All right. Just real quick. This Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be. So shall what? <laughs> so shall my word be yep. that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but mm -hmm. it shall accomplish that which I please. Mm -hmm. And it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. so, so hey, this word uh slide. Now you got a hey, I was just saying, hey, this word don't go out void, man. It's going out to the four corners of the earth, man. And it's gonna accomplish that which the Lord pleases, man. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hit the ears of, of, of the men that he that he uh chose from the beginning, and those who are gonna be con condemned by the word is gonna condemn, man. You know, plain and simple. <laughs> That's it, man. That's 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 the beauty of this truth, man. That's the beauty of the word of Yahweh by Shema is that you know when it's out there, it, it's out there, man. Ain't nothing you can do. Either you either he open your eyes up to get it, accept it, understand it, you know, or uh, yeah, it's gonna you gonna get condemned by it, man. You know that's why you know we made uh, uh, mention that hey, it's not good news for everybody, man. Cause for us, we excited, we we happy, we ready. That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Let's go. Let's get this thing over with, so we can get to so get, get to the blessing. Yep. But hey, 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 for some, they they scared, fearful. Oh no, no, this ain't it. We got time. 
what you rushing for? <laughs> we, 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 you know, it ain't it, what you what you uh, uh waiting waiting on. You know them groups. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you waiting on what you waiting on the Lord for? <laughs> you know, hey, you should time. be here. You should be living, <laughs> living to do what? To <laughs> die. Man, <laughs> you got it, bro. Uh, this is good. This is Malachi chapter four, verse five and six. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Yep, and, and, and that happened, bro. You know, when the, um, Elijah came as um, I'll, 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 I'll say, um, Elijah. Elijah first, you know, when the Lord came back to Salem, then he came as Abu, Abu Bibbins. Mm -hmm. So ever since then, 1969, uh, 70s, yep. you know, that as well been out, man. That's when it started going out. It starts, it started coming out like a flood. Yep. Like, like the word surrounded mean, uh, to flood, mm -hmm. you know. It's what it say, uh, he that believeth on me, as the scripture says, yeah, said, yeah. Uh, out of his mouth shall, fl shall flow rivers of living water, yeah. you know. Because when you think about when 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 <laughs> when water, say if a dam, if the dam breaks or the levee breaks, water is going to surround everything in its path. You can't mm -hmm. stop it. That's why this word is always compared to water because water really is, is more powerful, you know, than any force. If, if you have a, a, a an abundant, a overflowing amount, it's going to overtake anything in its path. Look, look at the first deal. Yep, the flood. <laughs> Hey, yo, yo, look at the flood. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then when uh, YouTube came, it, it just been increased. It's, it, well, dang, knowledge should have, uh, should have increased. Mm -hmm. You gotta go up. Are you either gonna flow with it, or you gonna get flooded, flooded by it? Mm -hmm. Get drowned. You gotta get drowned. Then you gonna get uh, uh, flooded by it. It's just like when the, uh, uh, Noah and his family got on the ark, they just flow with it. Everybody yeah, else. Yeah. Got swallowed got up by it, got yep. consumed by it. But now in this time, you either gonna be toast, burn alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you gonna be you gonna, gonna be, be good, in the chairs. Man. Yeah. Gonna be in the chairs. That's the only way out. You know? That's crazy. That's the only way you're gonna escape by his folks and by faith or by your belief. You gotta believe in this word, man. This good news. If you are Israelite, yeah. you heathens, I have no part in salvation. Right, right. It ain't for you. Somebody had something? I had another one. Yeah, go ahead, bring it out. Go ahead, bring it out, bro. Bring it out. This is second Edges 15, verse 1 and 2. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right. And today the paper is digital. Mm -hmm. You know, the internet. Yeah. Because the prophets are old. Wrote them on scrolls, right? And the Lord told us to make them plain upon tables. Now, when you go into that word tables, right, it deals with uh, tablets. It deals with uh, 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 writing utensils and uh, publishing. Uh, uh, it, it deals with publishing, right? Matter of fact, give me Psalms uh, 68 and 12 real quick. And then you got it to mind. Is there more on there, Karab? Uh, uh, the next verse. Go ahead. Verse. This is second Edges 15 and 3. And fear not the imaginations against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithful. Right. So it ain't gonna matter. It say, but what if some did not believe? <laughs> right? This, this word still gonna overtake you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, you still you still gonna get consumed by it. at the end of the day, by the time uh this word is uh done. Right? Meaning <laughs> the Lord say that's enough. Mm -hmm. And the famine come. Now you got it. now it's in your face. Like mm -hmm. the, the, the physical aspect of it. Yep. Right? Because you hearing the words and people just ignoring it like it ain't nothing, you know, having no a faith. total disregard, no faith in what we're saying. But guess what? When it's all said and done, it's gonna be at it. your ass live and direct mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you say when the big bitch jumped on you? You got it to my right. <laughs> This is 
is Revelation. Oh, baby. <laughs> this is Revelation <laughs> chapter 14, verse 6. And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that the world on the earth to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Speaking about Israelites, yep. yeah, it's with, uh, Israelites that been scattered across the four countries of the earth. This is why the word got you know been uh, been out, man. He got Israel uh, everywhere. Oh, sitting at the sea. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Elder Benazir Zakbak was just speaking on how you got a uh, uh, you got a sign language. You got prophets doing sign yeah, language yeah. teaching yeah. them. Yeah. You know, the Lord covered all, all aspects. All aspects. No stone on that term, man. No, no excuses, man. No Can nobody say I didn't know? <clears throat> Read that again. Huh? This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, to every nation and kindred. And tongue and people. Man, you know, you know what's coming with that? Uh, Revelation of the fifth chapter. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about uh I was thinking about Toby. Oh, Two, Toby 13 oh. and 3. Ooh, so matter of fact, I'll get it since I'm in the apostle already. Because that people will hear that, right? They'll hear that and think, well, uh salvation is for everybody, but that's talking about Israelites. You know, that's not talking about it's it's sent out to all these nations so that all the nations and everybody uh can can receive salvation from the John 316 Christian point of view. Yeah. No, it's dealing with Israelites that are amongst these nations. Tobit 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentile, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. Okay, these declare his greatness and extol him before all the living. Okay, so who's it? Who who's the ones that the Lord has set up to push this word? Israel. Mm -hmm. It's for Israel. It's, yeah. it's by Israel and mm -hmm. for Israel. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah, boo, boo. for us, by us. That's <laughs> right. You got a quick point. Mm -hmm. huh. This is Isaiah sixty-two and six. Mm -hmm. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Right, and that's why I said that the uh, the firmament shall be open, uh, day and night. You know, because exactly. our platform is the internet that's open twenty four hours, twenty four seven, three sixty five, three sixty six in the leap year. <laughs> if they want to add a day to the calendar, it's still gonna be open. They want to set the times back. Man, it's, 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 still it's, out still out it's still out there. It's still out there. It's still out there, man. <laughs> Ye did make mention of the Lord, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right. Mm -hmm. so just like the words command the Lord's commandment was for us to be fruitful and multiply. There's no uh sweeter fruit than this truth. <laughs> so the spirit that's in us is to continue to push this word out and cause it to be fruitful in the earth. He said his word is not going to return mm -hmm. until him void, but it's going to prosper in the thing where until he sent it, you know? Okay, uh, I did a lesson on that uh, the other uh, other day. You go into the judge said, uh, and until your day works be complete. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Isaiah 46 and 10, you, you had it? No, 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 go ahead. He, he said, uh, declaring the end for the beginning. Should we the end, but hey, the end is not yet. Yep. How we know? Because hey, Esau is still moving. Right. Yep. He's waiting on a, a, a few more prophecies. And though the end is not yet, the end has been declared, and he is being the end is being declared. Yep. Right. That's why I read say, uh, <laughs> the uh, there declare his greatness and extol him before all the living, for he is our Lord and he is the power. Uh, he is the power, Yahweh, our Father, forever. He replied to mm -hmm. And he will scourge us for our iniquity. Why he would chasten us, man. Yep. Why could we have the law of commandments? We are in the covenant, you see, right? And we'll have mercy again 
and will gather us out of all nations. It goes right back to the Revelation 6. He, he will gather us out of all nations. The key word all is nations. out of out all nations. Right. It don't say he will gather all, all nations. nations. He said he will gather us out. out of all nations. From among whom he has scattered us. Claim. Yep. I got something to follow behind. Okay, come, go ahead. All right, this is a Psalms 145 and 17. Yahweh is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Yahweh is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Right, so how mm -hmm. is he going to hear their cry if they don't know to call upon him to, uh, to to hear their cry. You see? So that's his spirit, right? Letting his uh, 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 prophets preach this word on the internet so that he can be known in all the earth to all those that, that fear him, to bear witness to the truth, man. You know? That bro's got it. You had something in Revelation, didn't you? Are you you good? Uh, you got to get it. All right. So, uh, this is my last one. Unless y'all brothers had something else. I had a uh, second edge of nine. Okay. Well, uh, we'll get the we'll get the closing ones. Uh, this is a rock 24. And I'm going to start up. And uh, just keeping that definition in mind. Read that definition one more time for me, bro. This is surround in the etymology, early 15th century, to flood, overflow, to overflow, abound, surpass, and dominate. Okay. <laughs> so this is a uh, matter of fact. Woo. Uh, 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 matter of fact, give me, give me wisdom, of Solomon. Uh, uh, Yashimai, can you grab it? Matter of fact, the mind you grab. You got you got an apocrypha? Yeah, it's apocryphal. Okay, yeah. go to Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 24 real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. So what's more moving than any motion? Wisdom. Now, when you think about something being more moving than any motion, yeah. what have you seen stop water from flowing? When you don't, if, if, if you don't like got no, if you open up the floodgates or you open up uh, water gonna flow as long as <laughs> by any means, by any means yeah. you know, and even if you think you got it sealed off, eventually it's gonna be a leak, it's gonna get out. <laughs> yeah. The pressure, the pressure hey. you know. Go yeah. ahead, bro. For wisdom is more moving than any motion, she passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her. <laughs> now read the definition again. This is surround in the definition of etymology. It says to flood, overflow, to surpass, and dominate. Keep going, Tamai. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Al Almighty. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. Right. So you see it says she is a pure influence flowing from who? The Almighty. Yeah. From Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, so this is a rock uh, 24 and 25. He filled all things with his wisdom as Pison and as Tigris in the time of the new fruits. So what's what's the Pison and the Tigris? Those, those are the bodies of water that you read about in Genesis, Genesis. right? Genesis. Which is where what? All things began. Okay, going back to Jerusalem, uh, Galatians 4 and 26. Grab that real quick, y'all can know. It says, He filleth all things with his wisdom as Pison and as Tigris in the time of the new fruits. We are in time of the new fruits. It says, He maketh the understanding to abound. Remember that word in the definition? To abound 
uh, yeah. like Euphrates and as Jordan in the time of the harvest. Go ahead, I, Galatians 4 and 26. All right, this is Galatians 4 and 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Right. So that's where civil civilization began, right? Everything began in Israel in Jerusalem. And those bodies of water was, was the main uh, uh, body of water. You had the, uh, the Tigris, the uh, Pison, the Euphrates, and the, uh, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the what is it, uh, how you say it, Gihon, Gihon. We're just going to get into that too. It says, he maketh the doctrine of knowledge appear as the light and as Gion in the time of vintage, right? It says, I'm going to jump down. I'm going to read 28, though. It says, the first man knew her not perfectly. No more shall the last find her out. For her thoughts are more than the sea, and her counsels profounder than the great deep. That's wisdom. I also came out as a brook from a river and as a conduit into a garden. I said, I will water my best garden and will water abundantly my garden bed. And lo, and who is the Lord's garden, right? His elect, you know? Yeah, that's the, the Lord's garden is his elect, man. It says, uh, and lo, my brook became a river and my river became a sea. I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning and will send and, and will send forth her light afar off. You see? So this word had to go out around the whole world because it's prophecy. You know, he's saying what he's going to do with his, with, with his word. It was always uh, destined to happen because the Lord say again, his word is not going to return unto him void. Yeah. Most I say it, 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 it is what it is. That is it's what it is. is. You know? You know? Because basically, like, wisdom is compared to living water, man. Yep. And I got a precept on that real quick. Okay, I'm going to read this last part. You got it. It says, uh, I will yet make doctrine to shine as, as the morning and will send forth her light afar off. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it to all ages forever. Yep. I, I, I got two, but uh, I'm going to get to the first one real quick. It's uh, Sawak it's 1 to 5. The word of the Mosai, Yahweh Mosai, is the fountain of wisdom. And her ways are everlasting commandments. Fountain of wisdom. Yep. You know? And, it, and, it, and it's overflowing. Mm -hmm. You know? It's overflowing, man. To the point to where when it's all said and done uh you you can't do nothing when you surround it you can't do nothing but what uh, uh, su 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 surrender yeah the, the only thing you can do with being surrounded is surrender and like when cops say that come on come on out you surrounded <laughs> come on out you gotta give up man <laughs> and that's what's happening to esau even with his wicked ass you know you got to come on. You got to get up out the earth, man. You know, you a fugitive, bro. You surrounded. Just give it up. He soaked up by the words of Yahweh Shemashah, by yep. the spirit of his mouth, man, yep. the prophets. Yep. So the, this is uh, Deuteronomy 32. I'm going to start at 1. Give air, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine should drop as the rain, my speech. So the still is to do is the small rain upon the tender herb and is the showers upon the grass because I will publish the name of the Lord. Yahweh my shine ascribe his greatness unto our power, man. man. That's it. Hey, that's what it is, you know. And you just made me think of another precept, uh, because you said uh uh what you talked about, how how the things of Esau searched so out by the spirit of the Almighty. Who revealed all things? Get that uh second Ezra 16. If you know where is it? Uh I think it's second Ezra 16 and 
60. Remember, it said that uh, it is a pure influence flowing from the Almighty. You know, his word is a pure influence flowing from the Almighty, man. Nothing can stop uh, uh, the Spirit of the Lord from overtaking this place. And another brother, give me 2 Thessalonians. Uh, we say we're consumed with the Spirit of his mouth. And we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up on number two, so like the Lord will. This is 2 Indra 16 and 60. In the desert have he made springs of water. In the desert has he made springs of water. Go ahead. And pools upon the tops of the mountains. And pools upon the tops of the mountains. Go ahead. That the floods might pour down from the high rocks Woo! to the water of the earth. That the, that the floods might flow down from the what? From the high rocks. Right, because this is where it's coming from. On high, man. All right? This word is coming from on high. You got it. To water the earth. To water the earth. Mm. The whole earth is being watered. The Lord said, I will water my best garden. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. And he made man and put his heart in the midst of the body. Yep. And gave him breath, life, and understanding. Right. Every man has their understanding from the most high. They tell you that in Sirach 33rd chapter. Go ahead. Yea, in the spirit of the almighty power, which made all things and searched out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is, man. You know, it ain't no place in the earth where this word will not be heard because the Lord's word is searching it out. The Lord's word is judging the entire earth, man. So you won't be able to say, like the brother said, I didn't know. You ain't gonna have no covering and say, Well, Lord, I didn't hear it. I ain't know. I was living over there in Ethiopia, uh, in, 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 in wherever, on some island off the coast of Antarctica. Whatever. They got people over there too. So you, you heard or you seen something. The Lord, gonna, he ain't gonna leave you no excuse in that day, man. Go ahead, bro. Surely he know of your interventions. What you think in your hearts. Your inventions. Go ahead. Your inventions and what you think in your hearts. Even them that sin will hide their sin. Therefore have the Lord exactly searched out all your works. And he will put you to shame. Right. And that's what this word is. It's a uh, uh, it's a rod of correction. All right. It's for reproof. All right. And uh. What's the word that means to put? Is it reproof? Means to uh put put to shame. I believe reproof means to put to shame. Yeah. Yep. Reproach. Yeah. Uh, one of them means. Uh, I think it's reproof, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. uh, to be to be confounded means to be put to shame. You know. So that's what's happening, man. You got it out. Well, I'm gonna say he can't do nothing against the truth or for it, man. Yep. Yep. Re reproof, yeah. Yep. Reproof, reproof shame means to put, to put the shame. So mm -hmm. this is what this is, right? Hebrews four and twelve. It's for reproof. This this on your conscience right here. Yep. Man. yep. <laughs> A discerner of, 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 of thoughts and the intents of the hearts of men. Yep. All right. So Second Thessalonians, and then we'll close. This is Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eight. Yep. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. With the spirit of his mouth, man. Right? And this is that's what's flowing out of our mouth is what? Rivers of living water. Right? And that's what's consuming this entire planet, especially the wicked. Because it's all about what? Jacob and Esau. As it says, what? Uh, for Esau is the end yeah, of the world, world. and Jacob, Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. You know? This word is bringing us a kingdom and bringing this man's kingdom to an end. You got it, bro. It shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yep, and shall destroy it with the brightness of his coming. So the brightness of the Lord's coming is ultimately being uh, shined through us, right? We're shining the light on the earth uh, to tell the people that our Lord our salvation, our savior, all right? The king of kings, the lord of lords, the alpha and omega is coming, man. All right? Go ahead. You got nothing to get you. We got something. We'll on that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, I just read the NLT. Go but, ahead. Uh, the second Corinthians 10 and 3. But though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our welfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to pull us down with strongholds. NLT. We use the most high mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of him reasoning and to destroy false arguments. <laughs> it's it, it's mm -hmm. a uh, cast down machinations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of the house. I say bring it, bring it into uh, captivity uh, uh, every thought. You know, bring it every thought. Read that part again. And bring it into captivity. And bring it into captivity. Every thought. Every thought. To the obedience. And say every thought. Yep. Every thought. Right? So this word is going to be on the on the mind of every person on the earth. Right? It's going to be heard. It's going to be a, 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 a bell that's going to ring to be like, okay, I heard that before. You know, I heard something about the Israelites. Yeah, I heard something about, uh, because you think about it. We've been on CNN, yep. you know, yep. we've been on all these major uh, 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 websites, you know, Facebook, World Instagram, Star. World Star. <clears throat> who who, 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 who going to be able to say in that day? TikTok. Yep. TikTok, <laughs> you know. Right Come now. on, man. <laughs> it's over, man. Yep. You've been surrounded. <laughs> it's, <laughs> he, it's over. Every thought. To the obedience. To man. the obedience. So you going off with the thoughts of your how much my your how much my shot. It's your head. It's in your, uh, in your head. His judgment is being heard. This yeah. word is it's on your ass, man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's being heard. Hey, with that, we're gonna give all praises, honor, glory, Lord, will you will edify to your home by Shem, your house shine by Shem with Kakadash. Double honors to Apostle Nels, a great millstone, Kwame Asherala, Kwame Asherala, Baba Ball, Baba Ball, Rise Israel, destroy confusion, Shalom, Labakwai, Shalom. Shalom.